Was The Conjuring doll terrifying enough the third time? Let's compare it to other Conjuring horrors and try to decide what is the most terrifying movie of The Conjuring universe. Hi, this is Clive, and you're watching Awesome Movies! Let's roll! Number 7. The Nun 2018 Nowadays, The Conjuring films have become something of a horror version of the Marvel Universe. Just think of the characters who cross over between movies, like paranormal investigators Ed, Patrick Wilson, and Lorraine, Vera Farmiga. And The Nun is a good confirmation of that, as it takes place before the events of the Annabelle and Conjuring movies. Here, we meet the demon nun Valak, the one who stalks Lorraine in The Conjuring 2. A quick reminder that in this movie, we follow the priest, Demian Bashir, and the young novitiate, Thaisa Farmiga, investigating a suicide at a Romanian abbey. Is it any good? Oh, well, we put it last in our list for a reason. Sadly, this fifth chapter in the Conjuring franchise is nowhere near as scary, inspired, or coherent as its predecessors. And this is all despite the wonderful acting by Oscar nominees Bashir and Farmiga. Typical jump scares with sudden loud noises in the soundtrack and characters waking up from surprise nightmares. Come on! We have seen this all before! Plus, there are too many awkward moments, like when Thaisa Farmiga spits the blood of Jesus Christ into a demon's face. Although, there is certainly a sense of humor to be found here, one that is both intentional and the result of some cheesy writing. But, uh, I do believe it was a genuine effort to try and scare people. Do you want to play a game? Oh, no thanks. Number 6. Annabelle 2014 The next on our list is the first Annabelle movie, which is also a prequel to The Conjuring. And while Annabelle really had no place in The Conjuring, she doesn't really have a place in Annabelle either. And this is the most disappointing part of the movie! Well, really! How could a movie be about a doll when the doll is in fact not the focus at all? Everyone is pondering self-sacrifice in order to solve an absurd situation. And there is no decent backstory. I mean, what kind of doll was she? Is there something special about her? All we know is that it was a simple, unnamed doll until the human Annabelle killed herself and transferred her evil essence into her. And that's it. No deeper meaning behind that. I guess it should have worked like Rosemary's Baby, with its satanic possession. But it clearly did not. Though we should admit that the method of each scare, a brief appearance in the background, a terrifying visage, or a hand violently clutching for flesh, consistently surprise us. And that makes Annabelle at least satisfying to watch. Number 5. The Curse of La Llorona 2019 I did enjoy the Latino folklore here and the overall atmosphere. In fact, the legend of La Llorona is one of the most famous horror folktales in Latin America. Each village has its own version of the ghost of a woman whose children drowned and who killed herself out of grief. Well, the story is nice, although the whole movie simply feels… Uh, lazy. After the 30th time the camera pans to reveal La Llorona standing where there was nothing just a moment before, you will beg for something new to happen on screen, though the performances are pretty good. Linda Cardellini is convincing as the widow Anna, and Raymond Cruz brings some much-needed humor. Overall, La Llorona is very effective at scaring the audience, although it lacks the required forethought for such a famous folklore story. Okay, so now let's unbox this surprise package. Number 4. Annabelle Creation 2017 Okay, this piece is a rare example of a horror sequel that actually improves upon the original. This segment features more engaging protagonists and a far less problematic ending. This prequel, um, or sequel, anyways, it finally chronicles the original incarnation of the titular doll and how evil first became drawn to it. Still, the script forces the audience to ask the very same question. Who does that? Especially in moments when six girls keep going back to the room where the demon lies in wait. Despite that, I believe this installment deserves its fourth place ranking, as it is at least better than the 2014 Annabelle. Number 3. Annabelle Comes Home 2019 This one scared up a decent box office as the picture came in at number 2 behind Toy Story 4, which earned another $12.3 million for a domestic tally of nearly $170 million. This time, we return to the house of the Warrens, the real-life paranormal investigators who inspired the entire universe of interconnected movies. I would say it's the funniest of the Conjuring series, as it adds a disco-era feel to the series. I really enjoyed it, but once again, it only works if you let yourself forget how hollow this entire doll story is. In one sentence, to avoid spoilers for those who haven't seen it yet, I'd say, if you were on board for the first two installments of Annabelle, you will probably be on board for this one as well, which does a decent job keeping this doll scary. Number 2. The Conjuring 2013 
This one is really a heck of a ghost story. The action takes place in a 150-year-old Rhode Island farmhouse, which is a pretty nice choice in the first place. Secondly, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga's acting keep the film grounded, even when it wobbles and threatens to lose its balance. Impressively, unlike other movies in the franchise, this film achieves its most startling effects through motion, not stasis. Just look at the scene where the characters are collecting dust in the Perrin's extremely frightening cellar. Plus, the film's dramatic rhythm is very satisfying, as they allow the audience an occasional breather between set pieces without losing the momentum. The first Conjuring is nice, but not as good as the winner in our list, which is… Number 1. The Conjuring 2 2016. Like its predecessor, it's exceedingly well-crafted, relentlessly terrifying, and boasts characters you actually root for. The charming chemistry between married couple Ed and Lorraine Warren makes viewers adore this movie from the very beginning. But the best thing about The Second Conjuring is that it does not cheapen the story. It goes deeper than typical jump scares thanks to its director, James Wan, who has the best screw-tightening skill. Looks like he really understands the movie's audience, as he practically controls your breathing throughout the film. The director routinely throws something unsettling at us, like that toy fire truck which starts to move on its own, or in the scene where we watch that menacing shadow creep along the wall in absolute stillness, leaving us paralyzed in fear. And for that, The Conjuring 2 really deserves first place. Do you agree with our ranking? What is your favorite The Conjuring film? Share it with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome!